Hey, Steve with Dabble Lab here, and in this video, I'm going to quickly go through and show you how to set up one of the Amazon Lex chatbot demos. So you need an AWS account, and once you're logged into AWS, you just go to the Lex uh, area under the artificial intelligence menu, and from there, you uh, choose create and you can create a custom bot um, or try one of the samples and that's what we're going to do here so we're going to do the schedule appointment sample which is a bot for scheduling dentist appointments and the only other thing you need to do here is just set the copa option i'm going to set that to no and then you choose create and it starts building the sample bot and it takes a minute to build so we'll wait for that to finish Okay, now our bot is built and we have a little um, test, uh, test interface here that we can use to interact with the bot. So I'm just going to test this uh, to make sure it's all working. I'll say book an appointment. And it says what type of appointment would I like to book? This is a dental scheduling. So root canal and when should I schedule your root canal I'll say tomorrow and at what time I'll say noon and then it asks me if I want to go ahead and do that and I'm gonna say yes so all is working right now however it is the uh, the way the bot the template set up it's just returning um, the parameters that I entered. So we've got uh, within a bot, you've got intents, which is what the user is trying to get done. In this case, for the schedule appointment bot, it is make appointment, trying to schedule an appointment. And then with um, with the intents, you've got utterances, which are what the user is going to say, or in this case, type in uh, to trigger that intent. And then from those utterances, generally you are trying to gather information that would be required to fulfill the intent, and that's referred to as slot types, and that's what's happening down here. So I'm not going to go into this uh, a whole lot more just because this is just getting it up and running right now. The, um, the front end is up and running. The next thing I'm going to show you how to do is wire it up to a Lambda function, and there is a... Uh, there's a Lambda function ready to go, also like a sample one. So if you go back up to services and go to Lambda, and then uh, create a Lambda function, one of the blueprints, um, if you just do Lex here, is uh, make an appointment. And this is the Lambda function that goes with that uh, sample um, Lexbot that we just used and uh, I'm going to use Node.js but there's a Python one here also if you prefer Python but select that you don't need to set up any triggers here so you can just say next and just give your function a name and I'll say demo um, Lexbot and the rest of it I'm going to leave alone you can take a look at the code that is uh, is generated for the example and all you need to do is just set the um, the role to give it permissions to run, and I'm going to use a the basic lambda basic execution because that's all we need here. Oops. And then next, and create function. Okay, now um, this is uh, all working. I'll test it just to make sure, and the test succeeded, so that's all good. So now I can go back to uh, Lex over here, and I can wire up that um, schedule appointment bot to use the Lambda function for the back end. The way that I would do that is just go up here to the latest version so I can edit this and come down here and uh, lambda function and then find my function demo lexbot and it'll confirm that i'm about to give the bot permission to run that function which is okay and now if i build it uh, and let's take a minute again Okay, now we have the uh, the bot built. So now we've got a uh, fully functional um, 
sample bot set up. So we've got the front end set up that is sending data back and forth through the, uh, the Lambda function on the back end. So when we test it out, uh, the difference now is that the data that is um, it's coming back, the responses are coming from the, the Lambda function. So that's it for this video. Um, the, uh, the next video is, uh, that I'm gonna do is gonna show you how to connect the bot to uh, Facebook Messenger and or Slack or uh, Twilio so that you can communicate with the bot and test the bot out using uh, SMS. And then we'll jump into um, what's going on in the code and, and customize the bot a little bit. But that's it for now. Um, if you would like to see the, uh, the future videos, just subscribe to the channel and you'll be alerted when, uh, when they're done. Thanks so much. Hope uh, you found this valuable.